Hello everyone, welcome to today's class and in this class we are starting topic strangulation. It is really very important and it comes under asphyxia. It is the other type of asphyxia. So we will understand what is strangulation and what are the different types of strangulation and all the other important things related to strangulation. So first of all we understand what is strangulation. So strangulation is construction of neck with the help of multiple things. It is just the construction of neck without suspending the body. In hanging, there is a suspension of body, either complete or partial. But in strangulation, there is no suspension of body. It is just construction on the neck in case of strangulation. If someone is constructing someone's neck with ligature, then that is ligature strangulation and other means of strang like other things can be used to strangulate someone's neck and we will understand the following things. Okay. Now pulling a U-shaped ligature against the front and side of the neck while standing at the back causes death. So most of the time what happens triangulation is from behind. For example, I have my let's say this is my charger uh, like charging cable. So if like if I use this charging cable to trap someone like this and I am behind that person. Okay, so I will trap that person like this and then I will apply the pressure and with the help of this pressure with the help of this uh, let's say this is the type of ligature let's say the c uh, u shape you can say c shape or use u shape uh, ligature mark is present in the victim's neck and this could come under strangulation okay so if i am using this charger cable it is a type of ligature if i use my hands like this so most of the time it is like if someone strangulate like manually strangulate someone the whole finger thing comes behind the neck like this like this and the thumbs present in the front side of the neck so the pressure is applied with the help of thumbs most of the time so this creates different this creates different type of marks over the neck and this comes under strangulation as well okay so we have different types of strangulation first is strangulation by ligature for example i am using my charging cable to strangulate someone this comes under this first category strangulation by a ligature i can use a rope i can use dupattas i can use sari i can use anything as a ligature then we have manual strangulation or we call it throttling manual strangulation if someone in manual strangulation if someone presses someone's neck and apply the pressure without suspending the body it comes under manual strangulation and we call it throttling then we have garroting garroting so it is kind of uh, it is kind of using some sharp uh, metal wires to construct the neck okay so this is garroting then we have mugging mugging is similar to throttling or manual strangulation so manual strangulation in kind of public places with multiple people comes under mugging then we have bans dola in which we use bounces so it is kind of stick two sticks type of structure and in between two sticks if we are pressing someone's neck then it comes under bans dola okay so these are different types of strangulation most of the time it is so the most common type of strangulation is ligature strangulation and throttling. We call it manual strangulation. These type of strangulation are common. So this is manual strangulation. Okay, this is manual strangulation uh, or throttling we can say. Now what are the important symptoms? So sudden and violent compression of the windpipe causes almost immediate insensibility and death. If someone is really normal and someone attacks them and presses his or her neck so it is kind of very sudden compression in the neck and the windpipe gets blocked which immediately causes the insensibility or unconsciousness and it leads to death so these are the symptoms it is really very sudden so if the windpipe is partially closed so this is first situation in which we think that the windpipe through which we breathe my windpipe or if someone's windpipe is partially closed the buzzing of ear is the symptom Congestion and cyanosis in the head is the symptom. Vertigo is the symptom. Tingling is the symptom. Muscle weakness. Muscle weakness is again a symptom. Bleeding from mouth, nose and ears is really very important symptom. Clenching of hands. So most of the time if the person is dead. So most of the time we see people hands are like clenched like this. 
and because of a stiffening of the body it stays like this like because of the pressure and because of the pain that person clenches his hands and most of the time feet are clenched as well so clenching of hands and feet are like the symptoms and then uh, convulsions occur before death so convulsions are again a kind of symptoms in case of strangulation okay in case of any type of strangulation either it's manual or with the help of ligature or barn stroller or throttling or anything any type of strangulation leads to these type of symptoms and most of the time strangulation is really very sudden and the person the victim is not prepared for that like struggle and all okay causes of death so death can be due to multiple causes so most important cause of death is asphyxia okay this could be the cause of death it is due to elevation of larynx and tongue so if someone is pressing the neck the larynx will elevate and the tongue will elevate it closes further the airway of the person okay at the pharyngeal level and it is difficult to occlude the airway at laryngeal and tracheal level due to the rigidity of the strong cartilages except the extreme pressure is applied so if someone is applying extreme pressure so because of pressure the tongue comes up and the larynx comes up and all the like pressure includes all the like uh, laryngeal and tracheal level it it just elevates and it further blocks the like you can say the airway and the person is not able to breathe and the person is not able to process that whole scenario so because of that because of lack of oxygen asphyxia happens then we have cerebral anoxia or venous congestion so because of pressure venous congestion happens and it leads to death then it could be like combined asphyxia and venous congestion so we can combine these two symptoms these two causes we can say if we are combining asphyxia and cerebral anoxia or venous congestion then it leads to death this is the third type of symptom or this is the third cause of death in case of asphyxia combined asphyxia and vagal vagal congestion sorry then we have vagal inhibition so because of vagal inhibition it leads to death so cause of death could be vagal inhibition we'll understand what is vagal inhibition and it is really very rarely seen in fract like fracture or dislocation of our cervical vertebrae so it is really very rare because the pressure is not enough to fracture or dislocate the cervical vertebrae but sometimes it happens okay now what is vagal congestion or cerebral anoxia it is the uh, obstruction of cerebral venous which returns and it like it is not occlusion of airway in this main or cause of death is most like main cause and the most fatal uh, like sign of death as vagal congestion so here we have our like this is the our uh, vein which like takes the blood into the brain and like it it uh, like it takes the oxygen in the brain and if it gets constructed there is no supply of oxygen there is no supply of um blood for the blood in the brain and that's why the person just uh become unconscious and that person to 2 kgs minimum 2 kgs maximum 15 kgs of extreme pressure is required to compress our jugular veins so all the veins which is present in the neck these are jugular veins so this is jugular veins you can say this is jugular vein and which lies superficial in the neck it is really very superficial if you press someone neck the superficial um, vein is jugular veins and that is the main vein which takes blood and oxygen to the brain so occlusion of these venous outflow from the brain result in cerebral congestion so it leads to cerebral congestion and loss of consciousness and more pressure if the more pressure is applied then uh, sometimes the like respiratory attack happens or the respiratory centers stop like if the like most of the time respiratory center stops and sometimes uh, heart attack happens so what is vagal inhibition so vagal inhibition is again the pressure in the neck so too much pressure in the vagus vagus nerve too much pressure in the vagus nerve causes the mess causes a message to send to the brain that blood pressure is too high and because of that there is stoppage of heart okay so that's because of stoppage of heart the blood pumping stops and the person gets death okay 
now what is the post-mortem appearance so we have few external appearance we have some important appearances so post-mortem appearance is really very important and this topic is really very big so we will discuss it in other video okay post-mortem appearance all the post-mortem appearance in case of strangulation we will discuss it in the part two of this so this is part one of strangulation causes of death and symptoms of strangulation and different types of strangulation i hope this lecture is helpful to you if this is helpful share it with your friends like this video and uh, subscribe to our channel so in the next class we will discuss different post-mortem appearances in case of strangulation thank you everyone bye